Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dark Souls. Alright, here we are, the beginning of the Undead Burg. Let's go ahead and start making our way. I know people are excited for this episode. People really like my Dark Souls series, which is cool. If I become known as some sort of Dark Souls guy, I'm going to do that. I could take it. Not take it. It's not like it's a bad thing. I'm definitely not like the most skilled player out there. I get criticized sometimes. People are like, oh, you play like a fucking nub. It's like, I don't know, just some stupid garbage asshole shit. They're like, why'd you do this? Watching you is unbearable. Oh, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> I'm not that bad. I'm a pretty good player. I'm not like fucking, I don't PvP or anything. So we want to make sure we drop down here first and grab this large Sullivan undead as I just wrecked all those barrels. So we got some assholes hanging on the ledge over there, but we're going to head up here first and get this, uh, going to get this item. Yeah, another soul. Woo! All these souls. We like souls, though. All right, let's go ahead and knock. Oh, missed him. Missed him again. Fuck! Whatever. Ooh, ouch. I didn't think he would actually get me. I was like, hey, I got the I got the reach advantage. So right now, um, we're going to be building up souls. We need about 5,000 to get the key items from the undead merchant coming up. There's one. Take care of all these clowns. At least make it a little easier. Knock off two of them. And get this rubbish, too, that you can trade to that crow in the uh, northern undead asylum. So we're going to do that when we head back there in about, oh, I want to say like 10 episodes or so. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I'm going to try and upload this episode today, too. Okay, I was like, did somebody just die? Where did this guy come from? Where were you? Where were you hiding? Maybe he's just hiding on the... I don't know. Maybe that motherfucker chased me. Who knows? Let's get this item behind here. Another soul. <laughs> just soul after soul. It's all that's here in the Undead Burger Souls. Which actually makes sense, because it's like the town. So, whoa! So we got this, this fool. We're going to run into him later. It's called like the Hellkite Dragon, I think, or something. Oh, I just watched, literally just watched that arrow like come at me, and I, oh, oh my god, I thought block, but I just didn't, didn't block at all, not today. Use this Estus flask, cause actually I probably should have held on to that, cause I don't know if I want to kindle this bonfire quite yet, but that's fine. There's a bonfire right over here. If you need to heal up and rest, I don't. I don't want to reset all these enemies. So I'm just going to activate it. I'm not going to rest at it. None of that silliness. Let's go ahead and go in here. Actually, we're not even going to have enough souls to really get what we need from that dude. Right now, anyway, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. If you attack, you can kind of like cause them to attack. But they hold up that shield, so it's hard to hit them when they are. You can also kick the shield like that, go in for a nice thrust if you have the right kind of weapon. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go down here. There's a fucking loser, yeah. This guy hanging out over here. Let's take care of him. Before we talk to the undead merchant, just to just so we don't have well, any now, dangers lurking about. about you? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to him a little bit. Get to know this guy. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. Yeah. Up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon. And a bull demon. Stick around this place. <laughs> it might end up being your grave. Yeah, we're gonna be running into all three of those uh, those uh, guys yeah, later. I'm not okay, see, that's all he has to say. He's just like, hey, there's there's an enemy down there. There's two enemies up here. Look out. That's it. So I'm gonna buy this just to collect it. You know, I'm not going to use it. I don't need it. Let's make sure we get the residence key. We're going to need to come back with 4,000 souls to acquire it. Actually, you can get the repair box cheaper from um, Andre the Blacksmith. 
now that I think about it. So actually, we should probably just come back and get the bottomless box. I think you can get it for 2,000 less souls from him, so we'll worry about that later. Uh, actually, next episode, I want to say we'll worry about that. That's when we run into him. We are going to want to work on purchasing a short bow and some arrows uh, later on this episode. You can buy some armor if you... Thank you kindly. Feel you need it. No problem, merchant. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and make our way back up. We got the... Oh, no. We got this. Oh, God. Oh, we got the lower tunnel gang coming at us. We're just waiting by the... They're like, you trying to use this ladder? And I'm like, dude, I am. Oh, my goodness. I'm this shit right now. Instead of using an Estus Flask. I don't know if that's something I explained last episode, and I probably should explain it this episode. Um, the bonfires start with a five Estus Flask count. Not the one at Firelink Shrine, though. Really quick, let me go over this. We're going to grab these throw knives, and you have to do this, like, leap down there. That's how you get across this gap you probably saw earlier. <sighs> Fucked it up. I never fuck that up. God. Waste of time. Anyway, I can go over the bonfire thing, I guess, now. So, uh, bonfires have five Estus Flask refills or whatever when you uh, rusted them initially, except for certain ones that are, like, surround... They're, they have, like, a firekeeper near them. They'll give you ten Estus Flasks. And since there is a firekeeper, you know, a Firelink Shrine, it gives you ten every time you rest there. Now, this one at the Undead Berg has five, the one that we activated earlier. If you want 10 from it, you have to kindle it, and you have to be a human to do that. We are not a human, as you can clearly tell. Um, and then that costs a humanity to to become human, as well as uh, kindling it. So I'm going to wait until maybe we can collect a couple of humanities. Um, just naturally, rather than using the items. Got yourself a crossbow over here. That's going to be useless for my playthrough. Completely useless. Alright, now we can continue our exploration of this place but uh yeah so basically at this point it's gonna cost me two humanities it's not a bad bonfire to uh kindle by any means but i'm gonna go ahead and wait until we come back maybe i'll have a humanity or two built up and then i can kindle it before we take on the boss because you can create a shortcut back here there's a ladder in there that you can kick down so anyway i'm not doing too bad on um Equipment or resources. Holy crap, that guy's got to jump. He has quite the... He's, he's got some hops. This guy's an idiot. Alright, so... We cannot access this. It does not open from this side. But we will make our way back there. Um, I think episode 5 is where we'll come through there. That guy just tried to jump the hell out of me. Didn't work. I knew he was there. There's also this guy. You can get kind of a glimpse to that area too, where the gate is. We'll uh, access later. If you head in here, there's a chest with bl black fire bombs. There's five of them. I think that's one of the gifts you can start the game with too, are the black fire bombs. That's why I was like, man, don't don't pick those. You can get them later. They're only good for killing that boss fight right out of the gate to get the weapon that you probably won't use ever. So. Short sword. Uh, I'm gonna heal. There's like three guys up here, all with fire bombs. I don't want to take three fire bombs to the face and end up dying. I already wasted a little time missing that jump. Looks like we can get the jump on this dude, actually. Speaking of jumps, we can get the jump on him. Oh, there's a jump on two. And there's three. All right. Another soul. Lots of souls laying around. You can actually get over here to this platform. There's nothing there, so it's a waste of time. I wouldn't do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our first instance of that residence key. You can also unlock this with the master key, but we did need to get the residence key. Well, I wanted to get it in case you, for some reason, did not go with the master key. Gold pine resin. It's good shit. In case you, for some reason, did not go with the master key. So I, think I, I just said that, like, back to back. Just so that guy doesn't cause any trouble. See, we got one humanity now. I don't know where we got it from, but we have one now, so that's good. Maybe I can build up another one. There we go. Return that stab. Just same thing back to back. Wow, nice plan, guys. That really worked out for you. 
coming at me one on one with a slow stab. All right, so let's go ahead and trigger this trap. And then get revenge on this asshole. Just, oh, ooh, I got mine off first. Cool. All right. Woo! Oh boy. Anyway, we're gonna have our first real fight ahead of us right here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust out the. I didn't even change these. I should have reset these. Black fire bomb. Uh, that's all I really. I guess I'll put my throwing knives here. So we're gonna try and take on this asshole. I'm gonna try and pull off a backstab to start, and then uh, I'll use the fire bombs if I need to. I'll use the regular ones. I'm gonna save those black fire bombs. So I'm approaching slowly. Get his ass. Yes, hold it off. Nice. Okay, I was hoping I could get one more attack off while he was standing up. I'm going to wait for him to kind of... I'm going to go into like a defensive mode. Oh, man. I just kind of respond every time he does something like that. Oh, you don't have another one? You're not going for three? Oh, Quick with that attack. This guy's a bit tough, so you gotta be. Wanna make sure you're a little careful with it. Oh, jeez. Oh, he missed. Wow. I was like, man. Oh, God. Alright, come on. Yes. Yes. Fuck you. Stupid Black Knight. Ooh, I got the Black Knight sword. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. I think it's a, it's a great sword, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I cannot use it right now. Oh, that's tempting. No, I'm gonna stick with the. Uh, a store a straight sword. I like its move set, and it's a faith-based weapon. So I think I'll stick with it for now. Blue tear stone ring. Let's go ahead and equip that. It raises your defense when it gets low. So yeah, actually, here let's go ahead and I'll read off the description. Boost defense when HP is low. The rare gem called tear stone has the uncanny ability to sense imminent death. <laughs> so. Anyway, yeah, that's what's going on there. Let's head up here. About to encounter that bull demon that uh, the undead merchant warned us about. Nice of him to do. Uh, we can also unlock this door if you have the master key, which we do. There's a very tough enemy down there, but he has a really good ring. We're going to get that next episode. Um, I want the Drake sword before I take him on. Definitely want that Drake sword. It's like, I don't know, it's it's like the only weapon that can really do bearable damage against him this early on. And we don't really need that ring right now anyway, so whatever. There's a crystal lizard here in one of these areas. Yes, got him. Two twinkling titanite, one titanite chunk. Now, if you miss him and he runs away and disappears, you can just press start, quit out, and then um, come back. And I think he, re he reappears. I believe that's like a little kind of hack to that situation so if you need that go for it and let's go ahead and climb up here we got a couple of baddies that uh, can really cause some problems during this boss fight unless we take them out beforehand Okey doke and if you look across there there's nothing up there right now so no warning if you're initially playing through, unless, well, you enter through the fog door and then it doesn't disappear, so you're like, oh god, I can't go back, something's about to happen. So let's go ahead and make our way uh, across this top area here. Wait for, there he is. Din, din, din. Make your way all the way back and start climbing this ladder immediately. We got the Taurus demon we're about to take on. He hauls ass getting over here too, so look at him. Uh, uh. Get him close enough. He's going to look up and he can jump up here, so you want to go ahead and make sure that you pull off your diving stab um, relative ease. I'm just going to start climbing. Alright, cool, he missed. Yeah, you can kind of lure him away and then uh, start climbing once again. Now, where I'm at in my character, my character should be. Yeah, that was two hits. Cool. So I took care of him two hits. You might have to do times or maybe you'll get him weak enough to where you can just do it twice and then stab him or something i don't know but it gives you a homeward bone in humanity 
as well as 3,000 souls. Man, see, I bought Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls, when this game first came out, and it was hard as fuck. You got, like, half the amount of souls that you get. You didn't get Homeward Bones after bosses. It was crazy. Eventually, they released a patch relatively early on, uh, maybe a couple months on into the game or whatever, a month or two. I don't know. But eventually they released a patch that gave you, like, Homeward Bones after boss fights and, like, increased the amount of souls you got from every single enemy. Because you got, like, I don't know, maybe three quarters to half the amount of souls from the enemies that you do now in the remaster and after the patch. But, man, Dark Souls 1 was hard as fuck when it first came out. Anyway, we got this guy, Solaire, one of the fan favorites of this game, one of the cooler NPCs. Let's go ahead and... Whoa. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I'm not trying to get aggressive, Solaire. My bad. Ah, hello. 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 Well, hello, Solaire. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Astora. Now that I am undead, <laughs> I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> My dude's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Actually, my guy looks ugly as hell right now. Oh, uh -huh. I don't know what his expression I is. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. I'm listening. I like how its default is no. I'm not the trying to be I rude. It, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Nah. Some tells me it's not. Another on this lonely journey. Yes, I have a friend in this dark, dreary world. Well then, take this. White sign, soapstones. This is what you use to summon uh, this fool. Or anyone, really. I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. convoluted with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this. To summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Jolly of course, cooperation. We're not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> oh, I'll go over what he's talking about here in a sec. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind. The sun does look beautiful. The, the, sun. the sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. You are grossly incandescent, Solaire. What are you telling yourself? Alright, so he has nothing left to say. Um, so he basically, like, without metagaming it, he explains how that system works, where it's like, Everyone's world is different, and like each other's like spirits kind of interact and cross over, which is why we're in like the same area right now. But he won't always be within my world. But that's how you like summon the NPCs during boss, you know, boss fights, or really anyone, uh, any other players for that matter. And that's how it explains it within the game. So, all right, make sure you're at full health before you do this. We're gonna go ahead and make a mad dash across this bridge because the Hellkite Dragon's gonna make a visit. He's about to torch this place! Fuck. That's okay, because we made it here. Minimal damage. Alright, so I'm also going to show you off this area really quick. Um, this is not the route that we're going to take. This is actually a more difficult, shittier route. And you know me, I'm going to show you the better routes. Well, usually I do. we got to take care of these two assholes before we do anything, really. Yeah, get over here. Come on. Come on! I don't like this ledge. Fucker. That's how you want to be? He's like, no, you come to me. I'm like, fine. And then if you head in here, there's a couple of rats, so beware. These guys can poison you really easily. Oh my goodness. Right, well, let's find that I'm poisoned, don't worry. We're going to take care of that in a second. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting bum rushed. Yes! These guys have a pretty good chance of dropping humanity, though. And I'm okay with using Master's Flask. So, anyway, you normally take this ladder to get to the area that we would begin the next episode at. But we're going to go ahead and unlock another bonfire and a shortcut. 
uh, to, we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do that first because that sounds a lot better than having to traverse all the way back to the this bonfire and go all the way through the undead burg. So anyway, if you go down here now and kick down that aforementioned ladder I was talking about, I'm go ahead and slide down here and get to this bonfire where I will rust at and it will cure my poison. Woo! Hokey doke. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and now that we've done that, let's head back to the undead merchant really quick. We have a few things we need to pick up uh, before I spend any souls on leveling up. So we need to get some certain stats to. We need to make some certain stats. I want to make sure I don't fuck it up. Oh god. Just collect these souls along the way. No problem there. We got these guys. Trying to like drop down in between these, not working. We got this. We got Ambush McGee over here, not doing his job very well. All right, what's oh, up, bud? There you are. Still keeping your marble. Then go ahead. Never hurts to splurge when. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. Ain't she lovely? Her name is Yulia. She's plumb in love with me. You'd never leave my side, now would you, Yulia? Oh, you can forget it. I'm all that she needs. Careful! She'll bite your little fingers off. Be kind, Yulia, be kind! <laughs> <laughs> There's like an imaginary pet inside that little... Don't squander your time. You need to look... Whatever, over that, that barrel, that half barrel. Whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to buy this right now so we can put items away in the bonfire. Um... I'm going to go ahead and pick up... I'm going to pick up 50 standard arrows. You probably won't need that many if you're on point with your aim, but I'm going to do 50 just in case. Oh my goodness. You know what? Just, I'll just do it nice and slow. There we go. And we got to get this... Uh, if you don't already have a bow... If you started with the hunter um, or ranger or whatever that class is, you'll already have a bow. <coughs> Excuse me. The crossbow sucks for this, so don't Thank use it. You, it's garbage. We're going to go ahead and head back. What are the stats I need for this bow? Let's see. Uh, it's, it's, before I accidentally walk off a ledge, I'm going to stop. So we need 12 dexterity and so Okay, well, the strength is not going to be a problem. It's going to tell me I cannot use it effectively, but that's fine. So we need 12 dexterity, so I need to put two points into it. And that'll probably be the last time I level up Dexterity, actually. And it's going to be worth these two just to get this weapon alone, in my opinion. Which will also lead us to getting the ring, because I'm going to use this weapon against that strong enemy next episode. Um, should put... Alright, I'm going to try and get my strength up right now. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should put it into Vitality. For right now, because we're gonna use the Drake sword for that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put it into vitality and hopefully it'll help me survive him a bit more. And you can, uh, I'll introduce the item box here. You can put stuff away. Right bumper will put just one away. Um, clicking the right thumbstick will <clears throat> put everything away. Like there's four cracked red eye orbs. Click that right thumbstick, all four go. So I'm not gonna be using these because I'm not playing online at all. So I'm gonna put those away. Um, this is going to be pointless. Don't need that for quite a while. I'm going to put those away. I'll put all these souls away too. I don't really... I'm going to clean up my inventory. Um, you know what? I don't think I'm going to kindle this bonfire actually. I'll put these away. Put all these weapons away that I don't need. Alright, put the bolts away, put that away, I think that's it for that, alright, let's go ahead and equip, equip, uh, equip those standard arrows and make our way back up to that bridge, this will be one of the last things we do this episode, we're almost done here, we're going to deal with this dragon really quick, acquire a really powerful weapon, open a shortcut and activate a bonfire, so... It's going to be very productive these last five minutes. And I'll show you how, like, it, it, it just takes you right back to that place. So we got the dragon there. 
Let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, I should take care of these guys too. Before I end this. I don't think that guy's going to be a problem. Over ah, fuck it. I don't want anything going wrong. I'm just going to kill this guy. Oh! That is not the move I wanted to do. Holy crap. Oh, that scared me. I thought I was going off the edge. Alright. So those guys won't bug us. Um, do I want to be here or do I want to be... I think I want to be in this middle one. If I remember correctly. Alright, so you can see his tail. You can already guess what the fuck we're about to do. We're going to go ahead and... Shoot this up. It should take about 25 to 30 arrows or so. Oh, I missed. So I'm going to try and get his air, or his uh, tail while it's over there dangling. And I'm going to try and get it when it's up close. This should take... This won't take too long. It'll take a few minutes, but not too crazy. There's three hits. It will take a minute, though, unless you have a higher dexterity. This will be just for my character that it'll take this long. Which I'm okay with. Nice. So that's five. It's wild because uh, eventually when you shoot off the tail, um, the dragon used to fly away. Back when this game uh, first came out, I believe it used to like fly away after you shoot off the tail and it'd give you free like access to the bridge. Like, or, like un undisputed act. Well, not undisputed because there's the, uh, <laughs> the undead warriors and stuff on it. But uh, you, you'd be able to cross the bridge pretty easily. Uh, once it would fly away. I don't think it does that anymore, but uh, one time... I don't know, actually. I can't remember if I caught it. Because I've done multiple Dark Souls walkthroughs, or at least I, I started multiple ones. I don't know if it's on the one that I have uploaded, uh, that I did, like, shit, like three or four years ago. But I actually... I, I, I killed the dragon. It was crazy. I killed the Hellkite dragon by knocking off its tail, and I got, like, 10,000 souls or something from it. It's pretty wild. But I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I think it was while I was recording. It could be that one. Oh. But anyway, fun fact, interesting story. Down to 32 arrows. I think I missed like, what, five, six times maybe? So that means we're probably at like 15 or so hits. Well, I know the number's odd, so it's probably at 15 or 17 right now. If I had to guess. It's probably 15. So we're getting there. We're a little over halfway there. It takes a bit, but whatever. Like I said, totally worth it. Oh, wow. Never mind. That wasn't bad at all. So it was like 20 hits then, right? So he's not going to fly away. He's just going to... He's going to piss and moan on the bridge. But keep your bow out, because we're going we're gonna to do something a little risky here. We're going to do basically another sort of death run. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot this dragon. When we do, he's going to hop down onto the bridge. As soon as you shoot him, you need to start booking it for that like open passageway down the bridge. You might get hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, asshole. Fucker. Get down here. What are you doing? You might get hit. Make sure you're at full health and you have your best armor on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is not going well for me right now. You know what? Fuck it. I'll show you. I have an arrow sticking out of my head. He's like, ah! He's like, I'm good! Alright. Right, that away. Oh god, abort, abort, abort. Oh, holy shit. I wasted too much time dicking around. But hey, he killed all those guys for me. That's what I should have done. I should have just had him kill all them. Oh, he didn't kill those guys, though. Hold on, let me try and get him to. Yeah, there we go. It'll make it easier for you to run across. I should have thought of that earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. That's done. Those guys are dead. Alright, cool. Okay, I think we're good now. Those rude interruptions. Alright, so shoot him. He's gonna drop down and start running. Oh, God. If you're lucky, hopefully he'll, like, turn around all slow like that. I thought he was going to blow fire, but he didn't. Oh, he did. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, jeez. 
Not, not staying in there for that. Holy crap. All right, we're gonna wait for him to fly away. Hopefully he flies away, he should. Now that you're on this side, he usually flies away. Kill these guys really quick just to nab a few souls. And this is actually where one of the covenants are. This is where Solaire's covenant is, the sunlight warriors or whatever. Yeah, it looks like the dragon flew away. There he goes, off into the distance. Yeah, I'd fly away too. Prick, you want some more of this? Anyway, so now we're free to grab these items. That's good. Claymore. And a soul of a nameless soldier. Alright, goody, 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 goody. Nothing in here except for this bonfire. Let's go ahead and open this, though. And this is where that ladder leads to, down where the rats were. It will lead you out right up onto this, uh... Lead you right out. There's a guy up there. Lead you right here. There's that ladder. And there's stairs going up. But we're going to take care of that next episode because that's part of the Undead Parish. So let's activate this bonfire. And I'm going to go ahead and rest here really quick. Don't have enough to level up. So anyways, uh, oh, actually, I'll just end the episode here. So yeah, there you go. There's the upper portion of the Undead Berg cleaned out. Next episode, we're going to hit up the... Uh, we're going to hit up the Undead Parish, and that's going to be a lot of fun, actually. I like that area a lot. We should be able to progress a little bit and upgrade our weapons and get a really cool ring. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and to consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. You can follow me on Twitter as well for updates. The link is in the, de not the description, the uh, banner art of my channel. So, anyways, my name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.